Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Grindy back again with an arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I'm going to discuss the new Morningstar and Groot arenas. And as usual I'm going to start off with most of my analysis on the veteran bracket with a, uh, a, a couple sentences around the, vet, uh, the intermediate and beginners bracket towards the end of this video. But anyway, what I like to first do with any of these champions is kind of new arenas is talk about uh, how do these arenas kind of compare to past arenas. And uh, when it comes to the four star and three star feature, there's really two types of groups. You're either a new champ or old champ. And, and of course, with Morningstar, she's a new champ. And then when it gets to the four star basic arena, that's where it gets a little trickier because there's three types of groups, basically. There's a lot of high interest, think Archangel or the recent Iceman arenas. There's some medium interest, think the Cable, um, Sightlock, because she was kind of a medium interest champ. And then the last cluster is kind of like low interest or champs, you know, old champs have been around for a while. They may still have some utility, but most folks have them on their roster. So there's just not a lot of folks going after them in arenas. And um, in this case with Groot, he kind of falls into that last batch, really. He's kind of that low interest, four star basic arena. So with that in mind, with this kind of being the setup, what I like to do now is kind of look at some recent similar arenas and, and how those ended up for round one cutoffs. So looking probably the farthest back, three times back, you've got the Kingpin and Black Panther. You can see that he came in, his uh, low cutoff of the four star feature was at 15.2 million with a top 10% at 4.3 million. And then you look at his three star feature, that number is right around 1.5 million uh, with the 11 to 25% at 643. When we look at Black Panther, he was at a 2.14 million for the champ cutoff at the 10% with 11 to 25% coming at 1.55 million. So then we move to the, the, the next farthest back, back um, out of the last three. That's where we get to the Medusa and Old Man Logan. You can see now with a three star um, feature, she came in very similar to the Kingpin numbers. The four star feature though, there was a jump up, almost uh, 1.5 million to 16.5 million for the cutoff. Whereas the top 10% really hung around the same number, around 4.4, 4.5 million. Really uh, not too far from that last milestone reward. And then when we look at Old Man Logan, um, he was very similar for the top 10% cutoff at 2.11 million, similar to Black Panther, with 11 to 25% coming at 1.52. Now, when we look at the uh, the last most recent arena, like the one with Morning Stars and um, Groots, that gives us the Mephisto and the Iron Fist. And you can see with Mephisto, we had a big jump again in the four-star feature to 18.5 million, but we even saw a big jump in the three-star feature to 1.6. Remember, we were dealing with 1.5 million just above 1.5 million with the uh, Medusa and Kingpin but then when we get to Mephisto we had almost a million a uh, hundred thousand jump, jump not a million but a hundred thousand jump which is quite a bit for a three-star champ to 1.6 which really set a new all-time high Iron Fist three star or the four-star basic was very similar again to uh, Black Panthers and Old Man Logan's and then over here in the four-star feature when you look all, all the way to the left and that 18.5 million again that was was another big jump even from the Medusa almost another 1.5 million to 18.5 but again the top 10% hung around that 4.5 million so when we look at this data graphically you can kind of see here with the four star feature there's just been this steady incline from Kingpin Medusa and Mephisto Medusa and Mephisto are both really decent champs Kingpin's a decent champ some like him some don't but I don't think there's many in the the community that don't like Medusa or don't like Mephisto so it's not like Mephisto is such a great champion that's the big jump there's just just been this steady increase what's good to see though from the top 10 percent and even the 11 percent tiers in the four star feature here on the left you can see that they're pretty flat you know from 4.3 to 4.5 million so 200,000 difference which isn't a lot for the four star feature and uh, even closer differences for the 11 to 30 percent where you're really only talking 100,000 difference from uh, 2 million to 2.1 million now when we look over here in the four star basic you can see that it's pretty similar across all three for um, both the four, for the top 10% as well as the 11% tiers. You can see it's all the way from 2.1, even with a slight decline for Iron Fist. Um, you're still in that 2.1 million range though. And then when you look at the 11 to 25% tier here in the middle, you can see it's pretty flat from 1.5 all the way to 1.52. So round them up, you're both dealing with 1.5, 1.6 kind of thing. Now we get over here to the three star feature. There was kind of like a plateau similar number between Kingpin and Medusa, but then we get that big jump for um, Mephisto, 
and then uh, for the 11 to 25 percent you can see that it's pretty similar from 643,000 to 665,000. So when you look at these numbers and considering a lot of the chat and chatter amongst the community reg regarding Morningstar, the fact that a lot of folks have been grabbing Morningstar already and that Morningstar is a three star um, that's given out through the Marvel.com Insider program. So people can get her that way. I, here are my thoughts in terms of the round one predictions. And again, this is for the veterans bracket. So I think she's going to get be higher. Um, than we saw for Medusa, but I don't think she's going to get to those numbers for Mephisto. I think there was a lot more interest for Mephisto. I think more people found Mephisto more have more utility in the game than she has. I think she's a good champ. I think Seton came out and said, you know, in his opinion, she was kind of like a demigod kind of level, but not that high level. And then she was only demigod, though, when uh, you saved up that five, you know, five souls kind of thing if you just came right out of the gate low crit rate low kit low crit hit i mean she just wasn't great so i think there's going to be interest in, to to take her to 17.5 but i don't think more than that i think a lot of people to be honest with you're going to be saving up their arena grinding for that blade where we might push over that mephisto number but speaking coming back to the the uh, morning so i think 17.5 will be the number for her for the four star feature and again it was a pretty much flat line for that top 10 percent anywhere from 4.3 to 4.5 we'll put it in the middle at 4.4 million and then when we look at brood i think you saw it's pretty straight flat line both for the top 10 percent as well for the 11 percent tiers 2.2 million and 1.6 million respectively and lastly for the three star feature um i think here again because just where she stands in um, relationship to mephisto the availability of her as a three star through the marvel.com insider I, I think there's just there's going to be a push. Obviously, there's going to be over 1.5 million, but I don't think it's going to get to 1.6 million. And then the 11 to 25. So my actual pr uh, prediction will be 1.55 on the on the trends, and the 11 to 25 percent around 675. Now again, this these are trend based numbers. Looking at the graphs, you know that I was just sharing, kind of where things can fly can can land. And if you really got to have these champions, if you want a good grind target, some buff over here, here's my thoughts on those. I go ahead and say 18.5. If you want to, if you really want to make sure you get her, go to that same number that people went for Mephisto. I, I in my opinion, that's going to be a bit of an overkill for her, but that's going to pretty much, well, nothing guarantees, right? <laughs> Wait, past results do not guarantee future results. I always like to say that. Warn folks, these are just kind of estimates. Get us in the ballpark, folks. But um, I think with 18.5, you should be pretty fit and safe. And then for the top 10%, we're looking at 4.7 million. You know, you saw that number never got over 4.6, so you should be fine with 4.7. Groot, if you really want to put that little buffer, a couple hundred thousand extra more above that 2.1, 2.2 number to 2.4, and you'll be fine with 11 to 25% coming at 1.75. And lastly, with a three-star feature, if you got to really make sure to get her, go over that 1.6 million number. If you go over 1.6 million, you should be fine. So at 1.61, that should, again, nothing gets guaranteed, but you should be pretty safe with that number. And lastly, the 11 to 25% at 680. Again, these are all for the veterans bracket. If you want, uh, here's a quick slide, quick blurb, if you will, on the beginner and intermediate bracket. Again, there's just not a lot, a lot of historical data or past results to really look at to confirm. Like, yeah, put some good predictions, but similar to the veteran bracket. But these should give you some good ranges based off of individual inputs from the community, as well as my own personal experiences taking a new account through beginner and intermediate over the last like 65 days. Actually, it's been about 70, 75 days now. So um, anyway. Anyway, for three-star feature, 245,000 in the beginner's bracket. For the four-star basic, you're looking at 750,000. With the four-star feature, a little bit over a million, you should be fine for the beginner's bracket. Coming down, dropping down in the intermediate bracket, the three-star feature, you'll need to go to 650 for a new champ like Morningstar. For the four-star basic, we saw those numbers drop when you had, but not tremendously, when you had kind of an old champ like Black Panther like old man logan in this case we're talking group so anywhere around a million maybe even nine hundred thousand you might get you, you you should be okay with the four star feature you'll need to go to 1.6 million with a new champ like morning star so anyway um these are my thoughts on the intermediate beginner and veterans bracket um for the cutoffs for the new morning star and groot arenas uh would really appreciate your input feedback throw it on down in the comment section especially if you have any questions happy to discuss them there especially if you have any different opinions if you really think the people are going to go after morningstar as much as or even more than mephisto would love to talk about it down there again my opinion is there seems to be a lot of folks already with access to her plus she's just 
there, there's a lot of interest. She's good. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's going to be the same level of Mephisto. And maybe they're just folks saving up and get ready to grind after Blade. That, I, based off of all the chatter already about his arenas, it sounds like it's going to be a nutty um, grind for him. So maybe people are just saving up. But anyway, these are my thoughts. We'll love to discuss them in the comment section. Um, and of course, if you like this video, I would really appreciate you clicking that thumbs up like button. And if you like this videos and others that I have in the channel, we really appreciate to subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.